slide it forward a bit. Okay, just hold it there. These student volunteers are hard at work. They're making repairs and upgrades to a five foot long vehicle powered by the sun. This is our solar car. Uh, you can see we have the solar array on top of it right now. And underneath that, there's a chassis which has a battery or which holds a battery and motor, motor controller. So the solar array constantly charges the battery as we drive and then we use the battery to propel the car forward. Weighing in at 600 pounds, Dalhousie's car can reach a speed of up to 65 kilometers an hour. But the winner at Formula Sun is awarded based on the number of laps over the span of three days. Bugden says last year they drove 135 laps, which works out to about 540 kilometers. The main thing is getting to see the car in action. We spend so much time here in the shop working on it. It's, it's rewarding to see the car move, and especially if you get the chance to drive it. But working on a car like this comes with some speed bumps. One of our big goals was to um, redesign the array and its shell, but that didn't end up happening for various reasons. I don't think we got the parts in in time. Yeah, we did. Yeah, so, you know, that's, that's really common when in any sort of project, you know, you get roadblocks, things don't always go according to plan. So the roll bar is probably our biggest challenge this year because the one we raced with last year no longer meets the race requirements. So we had to design it from scratch. Finding funding is another challenge. And so is balancing their time in the shop with time in the classroom. A lot of it is just time management and being dedicated to the team and making sure you're showing up for that, but then also focusing on your studies as well. But nothing is stopping the team from showcasing the possibilities of renewable energy at the race. Arsenault says their goal is to inspire big industry leaders to commit to lowering their greenhouse gas emissions. If students can make something as efficient and green as this, they can do it as well. Like we're students, we're doing our own funding for this. They have the funding to do it as well and they have the expertise. The race will take place at the National Corvette Museum Motorsports Park in Bowling Green, Kentucky, where 34 teams from all over North America will compete. Molly McNaughton, CBC News, Halifax.